In dimly lit corners of Tehran, young men and women play the blues. Stealing moments of freedom in private studios might be the closest they get to the big stage. Even at amateur gigs in small cafes, Azina Lahi says her band gets two songs in before security shows up to shut them down. For a female vocalist in Iran, it's not just that a woman singing in public is illegal. Society doesn't recognize you. My entire life I wanted to sing. For me it's like breathing. I can't do anything else. But there's no professional recognition as an artist. Everyone in this room was born after the 1979 revolution. The Islamic Republic is the only Iran they've ever known. But many young people like them say they long for a more liberal time before revolution, an Iran they've never seen. The clerical system of government that's been in place for 40 years also has its unflinching supporters. Hajar Chenarani was born in 1979, the first generation of Iranians born under the flag of a new republic. In many ways, she is its poster child. A devout Muslim from humble beginnings, highly educated, and her father died fighting in the Iraq War. In any country, some are in favor of the establishment and some are against it. It's the same in Iran, but we must accept that we are a country with a rich culture, rooted in the purity of Islam, and we should consider ourselves an Islamic country. We may not allow some freedoms that are allowed in other countries. The most important concern, she says, should be to employ Iran's young people and keep them from leaving the country. But for young people who don't necessarily want to live by established norms or subscribe to the way things are done, if you're cut from a different cloth, then it can be a challenge to find a place in Iranian society. Some leaders are sympathetic and acknowledge the need for dialogue to address the concerns of an entire generation. But people say they don't openly express themselves for fear of government retaliation. We hear the time before the revolution was economically better, but I can't talk about this transparently. In fact, I don't dare to. Yes, I can say a lot, but I don't dare to. I prefer to say nothing, to keep my head on my neck. From the perspective of security, the revolution is very good, but from the perspective of economy, it's bad. We are the burn generation. For us, it hasn't been good. Economic conditions make living in Iran challenging for anyone. But for Iranian artists, Amir Hosseini says doing so is even more difficult. If you are living here, uh, don't be sad, because being sad is the least thing we can do. Try your heart and be strong and bring peace and happiness. Try to make things that they are not, they don't exist. Modern jazz may not fit the public image of the Islamic Republic, but the sound of music from small corners of the capital is a reminder that Iranians come from all walks of life in all shapes and sizes. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.